Hey, Jalen, on the course, one thing, bro, but you can't get a hole in one. What do you mean, hole in one? We at the crib, bro. Where? That hole, bro. <laughs> so, you want me to get a hole in one in the mass coffee cup? That's easy. Come on. Only one. I need another ball, fellas. That is really, really hot. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Thomas, and today we are discussing the Adidas and Bape collaboration. For once again, they are teaming up. This time with a golf collab, again for Bape's 30th year anniversary. This Golf Reddit collection will be dropping Saturday, October 21st, which is this Saturday from this video's publishing date. Let's talk about everything releasing, my resale predictions, what you can expect from this release, and more. Let's get into it. All right, 30th anniversary collaboration. If you guys aren't familiar, Adidas and Bape have teamed up a few times this year. I talked about their Adidas, I think the Forum 84 Lows for their 30th anniversary collaboration. This is Bape's 30th year and Adidas and them have been collaborating to celebrate that milestone with various clothing collections. So this time we are getting a true golf collection. Let's go golfing. <laughs> better than whatever Travis Scott can do, okay? This is what a golf collection should look like. In my opinion, not a golfer. So maybe I'm wrong. I want the golfers to really stand up and talk this episode. Really guys, you guys have always been quiet in the comments. I need you guys talking. What do you think about this collab? Okay, this October, take it to the greens as Adidas and Bape continue their anniversary collaborations with a golf ready collection consisting of a custom pair of Stan Smith sneakers and a selection of performance apparel and accessories. Custom Stan Smith, it's got this interesting little lace cover that's famous on, I think that's like a classic 1940s, 50s, 60s golf shoes kind of thing. You don't see it too much anymore. Kind of protect your laces or protect your shoes from getting stained. I have no clue what this, I think it's called a Kitley. Yes, the Kilty. Okay. From the streets of Harajuku to the links, the Bape Stan Smith Golf features an ABC camo removable Kilty lace cover, matching heel mustache, a T box ready outsole, custom Bape golf graphic sock liners, and three sets of interchangeable laces. That is pretty dope. We can see a picture right here of the actual sneakers. Looks pretty interesting. It is that classic Stan Smith vibe, but we do have the ape right there. We have this Bape ABC camo kilty. I think it's something that looks different. It looks like a golf shoe. I really do like this collection, guys, and you'll see more of what I mean when we go into the actual apparel items, but let's actually go continue to read all of these items that are dropping. Okay. The performance collection comprises a windbreaker jacket, a polo, a pair of trousers, a glove, a cap, and a towel, all featured Bape's iconic ABC camo pattern. Seven items in total. Count them. That's pretty dope. We like that. It's not just the shoes. It's an actual wide-ranging apparel collection. And I think it's okay to just have seven also. You don't have to have 21 different pieces that are all kind of repetitive. I think they get a lot across with these seven pieces for this golf Bruh. collection. And we saw Jalen Green at the beginning with that funny little skit. So it's just talking about Jalen Green. And I think that was a pretty fun video. It is kind of cool to see that vintage or nostalgic type of 90s commercial where they're trying to do something and the camera zooms in on the face from like the lower looking up at the characters or the actors faces. I think that's always an interesting and really funny choice to make a video like that. But anyway, arriving on October 21st, this Saturday by Bape, the golf collection is available on Adidas Confirmed. So get your phones out guys, download Adidas Confirmed and be sure to enter into these. I don't think the raffle is live yet, but I will check right now so there is the collection live on confirmed but i do not see an area to enter for the raffle it just says cancel reminder and basically that it's dropping seven items october 21st 7 a.m mountain standard time so if you're eastern standard time it'll be 
10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time this Saturday. So set your alarm clocks. It's always tough for me to wake up Saturday for 7 a.m. releases, but we're gonna try to do it because I definitely wanna cop definitely the golf shoes. Now let's look into the other apparel items now. You guys might not find this interesting at all, but I actually downloaded these pictures from Adidas and it gives us the information on when this was taken. It says it was using a Canon EOS 5D Mark IV camera, August 25th, 2023 at 12, 14 p.m. in the metadata. So this collection has obviously been coming out or been curated for a couple of months now. I just think that's so interesting. I think that's so fascinating how they just have that available. Like, look at this right here, download media. It'll tell you when it was taken, what actual camera was used. I think that's super cool and was worth mentioning in this. Okay, let's get a good picture of the actual collab right here. Bada bing, we do have the little miniature fairway right here. The little piece of golf course, of green, of astroturf, whatever you wanna call it. We can see the Stan Smith right here, a nice look at the Adidas and Bape branding, the Kilty right there. And the actual outsole looks a lot more grippy than some of the other recent golf hybrid shoes. What is that? about golf these days guys i feel like it's having its little moment in the sun people are really into it it's popular with people trying out new sports it's it's cool i'm about it i really hope this happens to pickleball and we start getting some hype beast pickleball collections because i'm going to be copping those all fucking day another view of the kilty right here we can't actually see too okay there is some golden embroidery right there on some metallic pins that probably i think they likely clip down to kind of hold that thing together perhaps or it could just be a little bit of bling a little bit of shine on your kilty right there with the ape head and then the adidas trifoil leaf that is sick another shot of the sneakers from the side profile i love how they kept it relatively simple but changed a few things if you guys want to learn more about really good design and kind of how Virgil Abloh was so successful, go check out this video I watched yesterday by The Athletic Interest that dropped a video called The 3% Rule and talks about how much you need to change a shoe to make it intriguing and worth consuming by us, the buyers. It's really, really unique. I'll give a quick spoiler on what talks about with the 3% rule. It basically means you have to change 3% of a shoe for people to fall in love with it and to really enjoy it because that other 97%, we appreciate the familiarity. We like the Stan Smith sneaker as a whole. It's a clean, proven shoe that we've seen for well over 30 years now, since the 80s. We've seen it for a long time. We know what it looks like. We know what to expect. But then there's a unique twist on it, right, by Bape. I would say this might even cross over to like the 5% rule a little bit, but that's okay. I think it still gets the point across that it's still mostly a Stan Smith with a couple additions. And I think that is what's so interesting about collaborations. It's sometimes they really only have to change a little bit and that's enough to get us to buy. We can also see the Bape towel right here with the Adidas three stripes looking pretty sick. There is Jalen once again rocking the Bape and Adidas polo. I actually really like this piece right here. I don't think I'll cop the polo but it definitely looks really cool for actually playing golf in or just wearing whenever you want but it definitely looks like it has some kind of dry fit adjacent material to it. Another picture of Jalen Green rocking the polo in his golf club. Club, just chilling with the Bape trousers this time. I love the word trousers, so European. And the gloves as well. You can see those too. Those are pretty neat. I think those are one of the cooler items that are dropping this week is the actual gloves because I don't know, you see a lot of these collections for different sports, golf collections, tennis collections, whatever it is, rarely do they actually provide a unique item like that or a sport specific item like that. Either the brand isn't comfortable making them or they just don't want to. They want to just make clothing items and not do as much work, but that's where Adidas comes in with its sportswear history, and it's they're able to whip out a freaking glove, team up with Bape. I will also say Bape is pretty good at that too. They're, they're the ones that actually do go kind of above and beyond on their collaborations collections. 
with their accessories. It's all pretty usable stuff. And like Supreme, they do team up with kind of industry leaders in their different fields. But yes, very vintage, bape, nostalgic type of print. And you guys know me, I'm the boomer sneakerhead who will not drop streetwear until the day I die. So people say streetwear is dead. I Are you sure about that? Get bape and Adidas. It looks pretty sick. And fuck what anyone else thinks, man. Honestly, guys, the thing of it is when you get older, you stop caring what people think. And I think this is dope. So you should rock it if you like it. Fuck what anyone says. But here is the jacket. It looks super dope. I like just the overall look to it. I've always liked when Bape does this specific color type where its background is like that yellow and then it's green, dark green, brown, and then the contrast color is black. It looks really sporty, looks really clean, and I just always been a huge fan of it. That's another shot of the gloves by Adidas. We got the Bape head on the strap. Keep your gloves locked in. No golf clubs. I think golf clubs would have taken this collection to the next level, but it also would have been kind of of crazy. I do think though that collections like this do get off on being crazy, if that makes sense. Like I think having golf clubs or maybe a golf club bag, something like that is definitely missing. Some golf tees and golf balls are also missing. We don't get that. So it would be cool if there is a part two to this golf collection. I am not sure because these are really all the pictures we are getting of the boys hanging out, doing their photo shoot. And there is the final promotional image for the Adidas and Bape Golf Collection. What do you guys think of this collab? I'm actually, you know, as a non-golfer, I really appreciate it and feel like I can definitely cop it. More or less, I really do think that even as a non-golfer, you can really appreciate this collaboration because it kind of goes above and beyond and really looks good. It looks wearable, it looks cool, and I think it's just something that is pretty fun and unique and definitely original. Shout out to Adidas Originals. But once again, here is the entire basically collection that is coming soon. I'm on some weird Adidas OM slash EN site. I don't know. I wanted to get the pictures and they always want you to download confirmed, but you can't download confirm on desktop. But here are the gloves. Again, OMR. These are pretty reasonably priced too. I'm going to read off the prices in USD really quick. Put it in your head, guys. What do you think all this stuff costs? It's less than you think. Okay, the shoes, the most important item, 160 bucks. The gloves, what do you think? 140 bucks. The hat, it's gotta be like 150. 50 bucks. Towel, 40 bucks. The jacket is the most expensive item at $300 but we do see that it is like a wind resistant jacket, wind.rdy, which seems like a proprietary Adidas material. This jacket looks so sick, guys. I wish I could cop, but I can't afford it right now. I need YouTube to come step in and save me. Save me, YouTube. I don't have any money. The pants are 250 bucks, which that's not surprising, I guess. They're the same material. So I think a lot of Chinese international students will be coming in dripped out with this top and bottom. I could just see it right now on my old college campus. That is dope. And then finally, we have the polo right at 150 dollars so the polo in the apparel is actually a little bit expensive this is not wind ready i don't think the material for this is adidas prime knit for a soft and stretchy feel that moves with you as you swing and a lot of this stuff is made with recycled materials if you are interested in that kind of thing they are doing it which is pretty cool but guys that is going to do it today for the adidas Bape golf collection. We'll click on the hat for old time's sake. I'm actually considering copying the hat too, once again, for pickleball, but probably not. We will probably just go for the sneakers, but who knows? What do you guys think of this collab? Let me know everything in the comments down below. It's been your boy Thomas, and I'm out. Peace and buckries. See ya.